Okay, so we have a peristaltic pump down here, which is filling through two tubes up to the reservoir. And in the reservoir are two pipes leaving. One is the overflow, which is the reservoir is now full, so the overflow is leaving and flowing out down to the sink. Then on the actual exit, this is what we're going to measure the flow from. I have a clamp which has allowed me to fill to fill up the reservoir. I'll take that clamp off in a second. You might not even need the clamp. clamp. You can just pinch off the tube to stop it to give the reservoir a chance to fill up. Once it's full and the pump is running, it probably won't empty. This is the ultrasound flow meter. Make sure you put some KY jelly in here. Um, not as a lubricant, but as a, a medium to couple the ultrasound in so it gets across the, the tube. Close it over and clamp it on. All right. So that's going to measure the flow coming down this pipe uh, through here, through the ultrasound. And then that same flow is going to go through this turbine, which is rotates um, has a magnet inside and uh, is measured uh, using the, the its rotation is measured using the Hall effect. The um, voltage generated by that comes up here to this acquisition unit, this little grey box, which just turns it into a square wave. So you get one square wave cycle for every revolution, and that's going to be measured over here in the oscilloscope. So we'll come back to that in a second. Okay, so we're ready now to start the flow. So I'll release the clamp and the flow, we'll see bubbles and everything that will all start to flow through. Let's take the clamp off. So now the fluid is flowing through the ultrasound meter and if we look at the oscilloscope what we see is a square wave on channel 1 which is coming from the little grey box which is measuring from the turbine. There's also another trace on channel 2, I'll just move it up so you can see it. Um, channel 2 is measuring the output of the ultrasound flow meter. And I'll show you how that's measured down here. So if we come down to the blue box down here, the ultrasound flow meter, um, the blue wire comes over, goes into the ultrasonic uh, conditioning unit and the output comes out here. So from the output one part of it I've sent off to the oscilloscope and the other part is going into the National Instruments card. So the National Instruments data acquisition card, we're using two channels, AI0 and AI1, both reference to ground, GND, and we're going to sample those channels. So one is the square wave voltage from the turbine, the other is the voltage output from the transonic ultrasound flow meter. So let's actually do the data acquisition now. So if I come up to MATLAB, and I'm using this function called BIOM9650 Acquire Flow, and I'm going to do 30 seconds at 500 hertz. So let's press enter um, to start that running. Make sure I'm in the command window. Okay. And it will start running and it will say acquiring for me 30 seconds of data from channels AI0, AI1, reference to ground. So over here what we'll do while that's running is we're going to change the flow rate. Changing the speed of the pump isn't going to change the flow rate because, well, it might in this case because the reservoir is sound empty. So I'll make the pump go a bit faster to fill up the reservoir. But the main way to change the flow is to actually change the, let's do it from here change the height of the head of water like this that will change the flow rate um, so what we see gets, what gets printed out uh, from MATLAB is I didn't change the rotation the, the flow speed fast enough because it's just a flat line what we have is a blue line and a green line the blue line is the square wave from the turbine and the green line, the green line is the flow rate from the ultrasound flow meter